page with it. Yes, yes. I had an off-topic question, and you touched on this earlier. I have a subscriber online from uh, Louisiana. His name's Sean. He wanted to know an organic control for aphids. Is there some kind of mixture? Aphids are a sign that a plant's in stress, or it's the end of the season. So if you have aphids on a plant, the first thing you have to ask yourself is, what am I doing wrong with this plant? If you want to get rid of the aphids, if it's the kind of plant you can blast with a water hose, the aphid has its jaws locked into the plant. You hit it with a blast of water, the body goes that way, the jaws stay locked in the plant. So that's the end of that aphid. Um, there are sprays which will kill them. Neem will kill them. Insecticidal soap will kill them. Just about any spray, organic or otherwise, will kill them. It can also be hard on your beneficials. If we see aphids around here, we just tend to release some ladybugs. And their larvae, I mean, that's the favorite food, you know, for ladybug larvae. There are some plants, um, like the uh, so-called Asclepias or Mexican milkweed, they always get this gold aphid on them. It's just if you plant these Asclepias, you're going to have this gold aphid. But the aphids never go anywhere else. And if you have the Mexican milkweed with the aphids, first thing you know, you've got an abundance of ladybugs, an abundance of assassin bugs, lacewing larvae, and they're planted to bring beneficial insects into the garden. So, you know, everybody says, gee, I want those plants that attract beneficial insects. There is not a plant that attracts beneficial insects. The way it works is that plant attracts aphids. The aphids attract the beneficial insects. So, uh, in Louisiana, yeah, if you want to spray, you can use Safer Soap, you can use Neem, you can use just about any of the organic sprays. But if it were me, I'd just release some ladybugs and they'll take care of the problem.